part of the game, though. Absolutely. Hopefully accompanied by assists. Yeah, just, just a little bit under the assist, 95 assists. A team high 4.3 assists per game. Zabinski with the ball, over to Legault. Zabinski in the corner. Fouled on the three-point attempt by DJ Valerio. She'll be taking three free throws. Not a smart play on the Bulldogs' part. Zabinski kind of that same style. She hasn't had the big scoring night. She's had 27 points. Um, and the Cougars went over Butte to win the uh, Phillips 66 Classic this year here at home. But other than that, she's been averaging about eight points per game. But she brings in the rebounds and the assists and the steals for the Cougars as well. So she, it's, it's, the versatility is something that uh, Coach Ron Barber seems to find in those players like Zabinski and Palma. He has a way of showcasing individual players' best attributes. Interested to see what this team does this year. And the Cougars up 22 to 10 after Zabinski's free throws. They almost broke that press. It's getting a little crazy out there. There's Priscilla Cluis, picks up an errant pass. And she gets called for the double dribbles. I think that one might have been a carryover, but ref did call it a double. It might have been both. So the Cougars still pick up a full court press. They've been using just one or two people and then keep picking them up in half, and now they're at full court. And the Bulldogs break it. Lopez has the ball. Lopez down to Lewis, and Legault gets a steal. And she's going to finish it up for the Cougars. Steal in a basket. Amanda Legault. Amanda Legault played her senior year at North County Christian. Ooh. Got to get back on that one. <laughs> and the After Bulldogs the layup, the beat the defense back. Too easy. And uh, Justine Rowland for two. Legault, uh, as I was saying, it's North County Christian her senior year. All Slow County, but that spent her first three years at Newport Harbor High School down in Orange County and made the transition for her last year up here. Golf pulls up. 16-footer is good. Warming up quite nicely. Pass the ball. Right back. Right here. DJ. Quick ball movement on the Bulldogs' part. Bulldogs still running the press break, even though the Cougars have backed off the press. But moving around. Pull up, pass half court. That's an accomplishment. And Valerio pulls up for another three. This time it's nothing but the bottom of the net. DJ Valerio, three points. I think it's eight oh. solid passes before that shot went up. And it's 26-15. Zabinski finds the golf. The golf steps in for two with the bounce. And then the golf two points. Oh, they call it a three. Call it a three. It looked like her toes are in line, but I'm not the official. <laughs> So the Galt's good for three. Bulldogs passing around the perimeter. She got to tend off down there. That pass would have gotten in there a little bit sooner. Look inside! Potential layup. Five, Bulldogs just trying to find four. an open spot. Cannot seem to find it. Lopez penetrates a little bit. Throws up a runner. Gets her own rebound. And again, not in a position to shoot. Cougars take a swing when they didn't need to. So, Nonetheless, she's not that tall. But she Lo got her own rebound and put it back up. Yep. And Lopez draws a foul. She's getting two free throws right here. She earned those free throws. Lopez makes the first of fouls on Questions Miriam Zabinski, her first, as Johnson and Chadwick return for the Cougars. And Erica Sordia is back in for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs are using muscle down low. Those Lopez forwards missed, are missed the second, but the Cougars in the lane a little bit early, and we're going to take it again. These forwards on the Bulldogs end are working pretty solid, using their body to their advantage here. This time, Lopez makes the free one as she got it back. Zabinski brings it up. Pretty fast-paced game overall. 
bringing the ball up and down the court, slowing down a little bit. Sabinski in the corner, air ball. Chadwick's is there to recover it for the Cougars. Back out to LeGault at the point. Over to Zabinski at the elbow. Skip pass to Chadwick. And now we have Johnson at the point. And the center called for the travel as he, uh, you're only allowed one pivot foot. Is that the rule? I was going to say you had you had it there right the first time. You had the Johnson up at the point. <laughs> Johnson needs to be down in the box, especially in this game. And Chadwick makes the tip off Valerio. Cougars get it back. Johnson inbounds it, and she's heading right down to the bottom there of the key. Go. There she goes. Let's get her to where we uh, The high post working her way in. There they get go. it into Johnson. Kicks it back out to Chadwick at three. Chadwick dribble drive. Finds Zabinski at the elbow. Zabinski off. Pushing it down, one on five. She's taking it all the way on her own. So Lerog does get the shot off. Rebounded by Johnson. Chadwick picks it up. Chadwick bringing it down. Getting a lot of pressure from Jasmine Chavez. So Chavez, Chavez finally backs off. Zabinski with the ball finds Brewster at short corner. Into Johnson, and Johnson is fouled on the shot. She'll be shooting two. Foul on Justine Rowland. And Johnson shoots two. It's the seventh team foul. On the Bulldogs, Cougars will be a one and one the rest of the way. Around and around it goes, and then the first one drops. Palmer returns for the Cougars. Johnson's second offering is off. Roland gets the rebound. Valerio brings the ball up the court for the Bulldogs. Off to Lopez, off to Roland at the top. And a hack foul. That, that is the uh, definition of a hack right there, wasn't it? was a closed fist. Got part ball, mostly arm. Stan was there to call that one. Dan Galaxia. Caxiola, the lead official today. Air ball by the Bulldogs, retrieved by Johnson. Palma brings it up. Chadwick in the corner. Back up to Palma, elbow. Other elbow to Legault. Palm at the point now. Picks up a dribble, finds Brewster. Brewster picks it up, misses, and the put back by Johnson. Johnson on the last one was floating back and forth in the key, just doing a perfect triangle, sealing off her man the entire time. It just seems like they're having problems getting the ball into her at this point. And the Bulldogs call for two many steps. Lewis and Herrera return for the Bulldogs. Just kidding. Oh, like we almost have oh, one, two Herrera changed her mind. Players on that one. Miscommunication there. Palma brings it up for the Cougars. Finds Chadwick at the elbow. Chadwick tries to force it into Johnson, and the Bulldogs are all over it. Lopez bringing the ball up into the front court. Off to Valerio. Off to Lopez, point. Skip it! And another steal for the Cougars. Chadwick bringing it up. Chadwick coaxes the foul of Justine Rowland. Justine Rowland doesn't know what she got called for. Uh, her hands are up. She was in position. But as Chadwick tried to go around her, she didn't take a step. She descended at the free throw line. She was going all the way with that one. Yeah. She didn't care who was stepping in her way. And, uh, Take yourself right to the free throw line. So Chadwick will be shooting two. Roland is shaking her head. She doesn't know how she got called for that foul. <laughs> now Herrera is back in for the Bulldogs. And Chadwick made her first. And Chadwick makes the second. Cuesta, 33. Allen Hancock, 17. We have just under four minutes left in that first half. Half-court press is still working on this one. A little bit late on that reach. Bulldogs are going to get it out on the sideline here. Oh, we had a clock problem as well. Oh. We talked about it just being under under four minutes. And uh, 
we were a little bit further under four minutes than we thought. Compounded issue. So at 350. So, again, the Bulldogs having trouble inbounding the ball. You see everyone's in a fifth of the court here. On those inbounds, everyone is up in that top corner there. There's not a lot of movement. Everyone shuffles about two steps in each direction, and the ball is easily fumbled. And right there, again, Bulldogs step out of bounds. Chadwick over to Palmer at the point. And Chadwick in the corner. Chadwick, she gets her three. That's number 50 of the season right there. Wow. Took a, took a while Not tonight, now. but she got there. 50 is a hard number to get to. Brewster gets the loose ball. She's fouled. Cougars still in the 1-1. One one. Ninth team foul on the Bulldogs. Starting to take advantage of this 1-1 one one with a lot of time left in the first half. They have potential to pull themselves up in a little secure blanket here before the half hits. This is going to be a tough year, I think, for the for the Bulldogs, who just called timeout. Uh, Brewster here with the chance to uh, put the lead up over 20. This program is produced by Cuesta Broadcasting. Start your radio, TV, and film career at Cuesta College.